building a cryptocurrency trading bot and seeing how much profit it makes in one day. What's up guys, this is Jake here. Today we're gonna to be coding our own cryptocurrency trading bot and seeing how much money it makes in one day, all right? We're gonna be trading Bitcoin USD pairs, we're gonna be coding our own strategy and then seeing how much money it makes. So let's dive in and start building our first cryptocurrency trading bot. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how much profit it makes in one day. Let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit new strategy builder. Um, we'll just hit new strategy. And I'm just gonna press next and skip all of this stuff because I just wanna view the code. I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, so we'll do, uh, let's do new strategy builder. New strategy, hit next. We'll call it uh, crypto trading bot. As for the description, we'll call it this trading bot will trade uh, cryptocurrencies. And we're gonna use support and resistance. So support and resistance um, is trading terminology and I'll show you guys what that means uh, later. So we got that, let's hit next and just go straight to view code because um, we're gonna handle the rest ourselves by, by coding it ourselves. So uh, once you have view code, you're gonna get the editor open up here in NinjaTrader. I'm gonna switch over to Visual Studio just because there's way more future uh, features, I'm way more comfortable with it, and it's just overall a better um, editor than NinjaScript editor. So I hit the Visual Studio button right up here at the top right, and which opens the project in Visual Studio, and then I'm gonna hit Strategies here in my Solution Explorer and select, what did we call it? We called it Crypto Trading Bot. Awesome. All right, so it's generated the base class for us and some, you know, some functionality in our on state change in our bar update. So right here in our on bar update function is where the majority of our code's going to go. And what my thought is for this cryptocurrency trading bot is to use support and resistance to generate our trades, all right? So what support and resistance are, I guess we'll start with support. Uh, support is where um, you know some type of instrument or asset is being traded, and once it hits that price level, it doesn't seem to go down. It seems to hold there. Like people, more people are buying around that price level, and it just doesn't go below and it starts going up. Okay, so you're seeing like you know supporting buyers are coming in and they're holding that asset at least at that price, right? And resistance is the opposite, where um, it's a certain price level where it can't, the price can't seem to uh, go past it can't go past it it's you know there's resistance it's it's kind of like you know it's going up and just stopping here it's holding and then going down um so obviously in practice it's very hard to determine the perfect support and resistance levels but as long as you can have some type of zone and trade around that then you can manage your risk so what we're going to do is uh first let's generate an indicator that um you know automatically calculates support and resistance um, I'm going to be honest with you, we could build one ourselves, but it would take quite a bit of time. And I think it's just easier to find an, an indicator already out there uh, that generates support and resistance for us. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is um, NinjaTrader, which is the platform we're developing on, um, has what's called a user app share. Okay. And it's a marketplace of free indicators and strategies. And what we're going to do is um, search support resistance. Um, and what it does is it brings up 59 results meet your criteria of all free indicators or strategies that have the term support resistance. So there's a bunch that come up and um, let's check out this one support and resistance lines from file indicator. This indicator reads a comma separated values data file that contains support and resistance line data. No, we don't want that. 
trailing support and resistance stops. I don't know about that. Oh, dynamic SR lines. Let's check this one out. This indicator draws horizontal support slash resistance lines at various price levels above and below the market. Okay, awesome. This looks perfect. Uh, so this is great. I'll put the link in the description, but we'll just download this indicator. And we'll save it. So we'll download and save it. Now let's import it into NinjaTrader, which I've already done, but I'll show you guys how it works. Uh, so we've downloaded the indicator. Now you go to tools at the top here, import NinjaScript add-on. And then select your file. It will probably look like this and hit open. I already have it, so I'm not going to replace it, but you can go to tools, import it there. Okay. Now, if you uh, bring up a chart, new chart, select an instrument, I'll select Bitcoin, uh, leave all those settings, and then click the indicators icon here at the top. This should come up, and I think it's like dynamic SR lines. That's what it's called. Here we go, dynamic SR lines. Let's click that, select that, and then hit add at the bottom left. And everything else should be good. Hit apply and okay. Awesome, so you can already see it automatically generates support and resistance lines for us. So the next step now is to tell our trading bot to make a trade once it gets to these levels. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, uh, it looks like the blue is support and the red is resistance. Um, if the instrument price you know touches this uh touches a resistance line will go short and if it touches a support line will go long okay so um that's kind of what i'm thinking um and what we'll do is we'll take profit once it reaches the next line so if we go long uh, at the support here at l1 it's not going to take profit until it reaches the resistance line uh the red l1 and vice versa if it goes short um when we reach a resistance line, it takes profit at the next support line. Okay, so let's do that. Um, all right, so indicator is good to go. Let's go back to our code and let's start. So first thing we're going to need to do is uh, add the indicator to our chart. Okay, so to do that um, in our state configure if function here, if statement, sorry in our on state change. We're gonna call it add chart indicator. And we're going to add, um, oh, we might have to instantiate it actually. So be dynamic SR lines. Yeah, let's, let's instantiate it to be safe. So we'll create a variable called SR lines, which is equal to dynamic SR lines. Um, and then it has a bunch of parameters here. Uh, let's do, yeah, we'll do the second constructor here. Um, we'll put in his close pivot strength. Um, I don't know, I think we'll leave it at, what were the defaults? Not really too worried about what values we use here, but I'm just curious on what the, uh, we'll just kind of use the default values that it already uses. Oh, you know what? Actually, I could probably just, oops. Go to its definition. Okay, so there's the defaults. We might be able to leave it blank, but let's try it, I guess. Yeah, I, I think we have to.
use the default values um because we do have to call it so pivot strength is five uh oops so close pivot strength five max look back bars is 200 pivot tick difference is 10 max levels is three show pivots true color below um, I like to do green oh is it brush styles Uh, how do we color again? Brushes. All right, so we'll instantiate our indicator. We're good to go. So we've instantiated our uh, dynamic support resistance lines. Now let's actually add the indicator to the chart and draw it by calling add chart indicator and passing in our SR lines. Perfect. So now it should draw. Uh, let's test it out. I've saved it. And let's make sure it draws. So we'll hit new uh, strategy analyzer. Give it some time to load here. Cryptocurrency trading bot, awesome. Select Bitcoin USD and hit run. Let's go to our chart. Perfect. So they're created. Awesome. Alrighty. So we know they're drawing. Let's actually get it to buy. So what we want to do is let's go back to our chart here. Remember, these red lines are the resistance. And the, and the green lines are support. So we want to buy once it hits support, and we want to short or sell if it hits resistance. So let's add that functionality. So in our on bar update function, this is where we're going to add our code to do that. Okay. So we need to be able to first access these levels. Okay. So in the indicator that we downloaded, let's find out where it draws. Here we go. So it's Drawing here, drawing a line, subzone level. All right, so we can do this two ways. We can either try and retrieve the drawing from the chart, which I'll try first. If not, we'll make a variable to that's stored on this indicator and then use that to make the trade. So, um, all right, so we've made some changes. The core issue was our close prices were not, they were going above the resistance lines, but as soon as they were, the new support and resistance lines were being generated. So simply by changing it to the current high or low of the candle, we do get entries. So we have all of our code now to start making trades. Sorry, I added this. This is not needed. So let me just clean this up. Uh, this should be all of our code now to see how it does let's see how much money it would make in a day so with ninja trader what we're going to do is you can't actually i found out i've researched you can't actually trade cryptocurrencies on ninja trader um in real time okay so they do have a coinbase connection here but it's only for histor historical data what we can do though is um 
do a playback uh, connection, which basically takes tick, tick data from Coinbase and reruns it and simulates it as if it's in real time. So all you got to do is hit uh, connect and playback connection. And then this will pop up. So what I'm going to run is March 30th, okay, with our strategy. Okay, so we have our strategy here. To run it in real time or in a playback, um, we're going to hit new chart, select Bitcoin, uh, last minute, last three days, that's great. And um, let's just do normal equity hours from 9 till um, 9.30 to 4 o'clock. You can leave it 24-7 if you want, but it's just going to take longer to run. So I'm just doing it for uh, time's sake. So we got, uh, yeah, March 30th set up. We got our chart here. Let's add our strategy that we just built called Crypto Trading Bot. We'll hit add. Um, we'll leave it on one minute. The account's playback 101. Yep, calculate. I want to do on each tick. I don't want to do it on bar close because I want it to be entering trades. Um, label, that's fine. Max bars look back, that's fine. Bars required to trade, let's just put that to zero. Um, check enabled. And I think everything else is good. I'm going to hit apply and okay. There we go. So it, it drew our support and resistance lines automatically. That's great. And we're able to run it. So, um, oh, I'm in a previous trade here. So let me, um, yeah. All right, so we're good to go. Let's run it and let's see how it does. Um, so what I'm gonna select is, by default, it'll be one times. I It's gonna be really slow because it's gonna you know go once per minute. So I would probably, um, yeah, I guess I'll do it a thousand times. That should be fast enough. Um, so it's not trading because it's waiting till 9.30 till regular hours open. Uh, let me just speed it up a bit. Let's get it to near 9 o'clock. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Um, let's slow it down. Whoa, we're getting lots of trades here. Because it's hitting that it's it's hitting that prediction or that um, support line and it's trying to buy each tick. See, it, it bought more because it hit more support. Let me just do that more. There we go. Then it went short because it hit that resistance. Bars are coming in. We can speed it up a bit. So I believe it is short right now. No, it is long. Sorry. You can see the the support and resistance lines are generating. They're changing every time, and it's not going to make a train change. So there we go. We hit the next resistance. Now it became a support. It's going long again. Right now we're down thirteen dollars. Oops. Sorry guys. Um, we're we are in. Yep, yeah, we're in one long right here. So you see, sometimes the support and resistance they they disappear because it's it's calculating on each bar on each can new candlestick. Um, so there we go. A new support's been generated took profit there um, and then it went short because it was a resistance uh, now we're down a little bit um, this is amazing I actually like this strategy I might use it for myself it's pretty awesome um, I like how it works so they're about to cover so this this red and, and green line is changing a lot it's, it's calculating using the previous candlesticks um, but we're up right now went short uh, so it wouldn't be taking profit till down here. Bam, it just went there. So that's awesome. Let me speed this up a little bit because I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Just see the results. <clears throat> Man, those are crazy buys and sells at those levels. It must be, um, you know, the price is barely moving. There we go. This is a pretty, pretty, you know, solid start. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say the strategy is foolproof, but so far it's doing what we're telling it to do. 
It's buying on the on the support, selling at the resistance, and shorting at resistance and covering at support. So it's exactly what I wanted to do. So there it stopped. I, I set it at uh, 4 p.m. Um, so let's check our results. So we made a profit. We made $83 in profit. Um, let's check our performance. So there was our performance for our trades for March 30th. So we would have made $83. Uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Now, once again, this was with um, in playback. It wasn't with actual money. Um, so the results, the, the fills can vary um, from my, you know, my strategy going in real time from, you know, switching over from back testing and using simulated data to real data. Um, sometimes there is differences. Sometimes you don't get filled. Um, especially when you do limit orders in, in our scenario, we're doing market orders, so it's pretty close, but there is slippage and there's going to be, you know, on average, you know, one to 2% difference, uh, when you get filled and, and whatnot. So, um, overall, this is a, a, a decent strategy. Um, here's all our trades. We had some losing trades because uh, near near the uh, near the support and resistance lines there was the price was barely moving and it kept buying and selling buying and selling because it kept switching over so that's a, that's a potential issue we'd want to fix either by using longer time frames or higher volume requirements but overall this is a decent strategy so yeah 83 dollars in profit um, that's awesome well that's great sweet so let's check analysis I mean yeah I would have closed green I guess so yeah, anyways, I, I really guys, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we built our own cryptocurrency trading bot. We ran it with playback data and it was profitable. Um, I might use this strategy for myself. I love the support and resistance uh, indicator that we used and, and kind of incorporated that into our trading bot. And uh, yeah, so this is awesome. Um, this is a great start. I hope I gave you the tools you need to kind of start building your own cryptocurrency trading bot. And in this whole, you know, quarantine coronavirus thing, you know, you can make some money uh, while at home. So anyways, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this video, found value. And I hope I, I kind of inspired you to start creating your own cryptocurrency trading bot. Let me know in the comments below what video you guys want to see next. If you guys want me to t talk more about my trading bot that I'm running with real money, um, uh, Python coding, uh, more strategies, whatever you want. Let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on it and I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.